he looked back to the dua, did she ask anything about the upbringing? No, all she did was say, Ya Allah, accept from me. But Allah is saying, I will give her the best upbringing. Number three, وَكَفَّلَهَا Zakaria. And now he's entrusting her in the hands of a prophet. Again, we look back to her dua. It's amazing, you just look at this one dua, تَقَبَّلْ مِنِّي, accept from me. And then you're seeing the answer in an overload, right? It's like, you're almost like, when you're reading these verses, it's like you're overwhelmed with the acceptance of the dua. You're overwhelmed with how much Allah is accepting her dua and manifesting it in a way beyond her imagination. And now he gives her Zakariya to caretake, right, to take care of Maryam. Now, who is supposed to be bringing provision to Maryam? The rizq to Maryam, Zakariya, the caretaker. But now on top of this, the caretaker comes to see, you know, what she needs. And she already is given by Allah. Like on top of that, right? Again, go back to the mother and her ask, did she say, Ya Allah, give her provision? No, she just said, Ya Allah, accept from me. And here Allah is giving her this and that, this and that. And on top of that, the caretaker is now astonished, how do you have this? And she says, it's from Allah, Allah will give whomever beyond imagination. So you see here the fruit of just one sincere dua, or one sincere intention actually. Because she does one thing, the mother, and she puts it in the hands of Allah, and she just asks for qubul, for acceptance. And Allah shows us the answer to us. You know, Allah doesn't just keep it hidden and give it to her. But there's a reason it's in the Qur'an. It's in the Qur'an to show you, look what one sincere intention can do for you.